540 verbal and 580 math. Read it in week. And speaking of numbers. Oh, they came? Yeah. The SAT scores. For six weeks, we had been waiting for the two numbers which would determine the next four years of our lives. Didn't you check your mailbox? No. I did. Yeah, what'd you get? 7.30. Verbal or math? The mind. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry about it. You can always come work for me. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> it was social Darwinism at its cruelest. So did you get yours? I don't think it's such a good idea to talk about them like this. They're kind of private. Oh, well, sure. I understand. I don't want to talk about it. It was practically code for Ed's junior college and auto body repair. Besides, it's no big deal. I mean, after all, they're only numbers, right? Sure, easy for you to say. You haven't gotten yours yet. So what? When they come, they come. After all, I wasn't worried. <laughs> Look at these scores. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Not much, anyway. Oh, and despair. I mean, worried. Modern literature. Not me. Slightly curious. Heck, if they came, they came. And if they didn't, they did. Please, please, oh, please, oh, please. It was a private matter. Very private. As I stepped into that closet, I kept telling myself it meant nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Nothing but a few lousy numbers and a crummy envelope. Yahoo! I can't get over it. 650. And what was it, a 580? It was a night filled with egg rolls and triumph. Well, actually it was a 59. Yeah, you know, it's no big deal, they're just numbers. It's a 1240 combined. Proud of you, son. Yeah. Who would have thought our little butthead would turn out to be an egghead? <laughs> Thanks. I think. But the truth was, I had earned the respect of the Arnold men. I think it's wonderful, honey. And the woman who loved them.